Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your dose of zombies news from the game and its community here on COD Zombies HQ. Thank you so much for tuning in today, where we've got a bunch of things to talk about, and in one, Treyarch and Sledgehammer have seemingly admitted a major mistake that they've committed within Vanguard, and I've made some changes to correct it, but let's kick things right off with our first story of the day. As of the recent Season 2 Reloaded update for COD Vanguard, Treyarch finally figured out how to add a pause function into solo zombies games, which is absolutely insane to say by itself, but now that the feature has been released and players are trying it out, a lot of zombies players have noticed that this doesn't act like a regular pause like you'd see in any other game. Where instead, players are figuring out that when you pause the game in a solo match, it basically just lags the entire server that the game is based on, halting it in place for the duration of when you're paused. But this does create some interesting scenarios, with some players reporting control issues if you're playing on a controller after you unpause, and the most obvious impact of this for now is that if you start to reload your weapon, let's say you have an LMG like in this case here, takes a long time to reload. Usually, you start your reload in a solo, low match, you hit your pause button and you give it maybe 10-15 seconds, as soon as you unpause, your weapon is magically reloaded once again, ready to fire at any zombies in front of you. So if you ever get trapped and you're out of ammo with something like an LMG or even like a Thompson in this case, start that reload, pause the game, give it 10 seconds, Unpause, and you'll be ready to take down the zombies that are threatening you. Just a very weird feature of the pause function for sure. We don't exactly know why this occurs right now, or if there's any other weird instances that are caused by pausing. So if you're hopping into Vanguard Zombies for whatever reason, definitely do some experimentation and see if you can get any other weird things to occur in your game using the pause function. Next up, one of the most glaring issues with Vanguard Zombies, I mean, there are many, let's be honest, but one of them is that ranking up weapons within this mode is insanely slow, especially compared to something like Black Ops Cold War Zombies, which some people would still say is pretty darn slow. But in this game, it's downright unbearable, where if you want to rank up your weapons at any kind of fair rate, you had to go play multiplayer. And it seems like that Treyarch and Sledgehammer collectively have recognized that there was a problem there, and have seeked to fix it in today's update, with Sledgehammer Games saying that in today's patch, we've increased the weapon XP XP earn rate by 20%, with Treyarch saying that Vanguard's new 20% XP earn rate boost also applies to zombies and to ranked play. So a permanent boost of 20% weapon XP is now applied to everyone within the game that should hopefully make weapon progression a little bit better in the Vanguard Zombies mode. I would have liked to see it up by maybe like 30 to 35%, even 40% in the Zombies mode because it's just so insanely slow compared to the other modes. But hey, at least they recognized it was an issue and are looking to fix it. One other issue that they apparently recognized and that you shouldn't do in your own game right now, Arc has noted that if you use your weapon expect on the decimator shield or the ray gun, those are the two wonder weapons in the game right now, it may lead your game to crash. So if you crashed out of a Vanguard Zombies game recently, you don't know why, this could have been the reason. You had a ray gun or decimator shield and you might have hit the weapon inspect by mistake. Apparently a fix for this issue has been scheduled, but hasn't been released into the game yet. But that wraps up the news today, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something new, hey, consider hitting that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd strongly recommend you check out yesterday's video we posted regarding the future of Zombies Chronicles 2 and some major new information surrounding it that changes everything. So be sure to tap out now to check that out, and I'll see you with another new Zombies News video very soon. Peace!